Hi there and welcome to the Kunststoffschmiede here in Dresden, Germany. Uh, my name is Fritzi and today we're gonna show you a little tutorial on how you can make molds on your own for your own individual plastic products um, just from plexiglass. So let's get started. First you need an idea of the product you want to create. Here we chose a ruler. As material we use plexiglass. Measuring the thickness is very important to set the right intensity for the laser cutter. Besides cutting, you can also engrave something in the plexiglass, like your logo or the recycling sign. Just like here. There's a lot of different programs you can use to design vector images for your mold. We, for example, like to use Illustrator or the free software Inkscape. If you don't have your own laser cutter, just look for makerspaces and fab labs in your area. You can find one in nearly any area and they will be happy to help you get started. Since we plan to have a 3D mold in the end, we need to prepare more than just one layer. For putting them all together, we cut holes in every corner so we can fix the layers with screws later on. As top layer we use Craftplex, a strong wooden material that protects our mold from the heat of the injection machine. Isn't it nice seeing the laser cutting through it? Oh, and don't forget the holes for the screws. Our plexiglass mold will be a prototype, good for trying out a couple of times, but not a replacement for a strong metal mold. Now put our layers all together, of course in the right order, and fix them with machine screws, flash washers and nuts. You have to tighten them quite firmly. And we actually experienced that butterfly nuts are much more comfortable and faster than conventional ones. And now we're ready to inject our plastic. We use a car jack to make sure that our mold is fixed in the right position underneath the nozzle. The plastic you can see here was collected, sorted and shredded through our own little plastic workspace. The injection machine melts the plastic pallets with heating elements and pushes the mixture into our little mold. Through the plexiglass you can actually see the plastic spreading and stop pushing the lever at the right moment. After injection we recommend to press cold metal against the orifice to prevent the plastic from whirling. Now you can restack your mold and get a nice fully recycled plastic product So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot. And if you have any questions or ideas, uh, just contact us. You find the link below. Um, and have a nice day.